I'm going to hell for this and I do not care. Back when I was growing up I always seemed to float between two worlds. In school, I would be considered to be a quiet nerd that was left alone. At home hung out with a pretty rough crowd and was always getting into trouble. Between the drinking, the fighting, the substances, and other dumb shit I always tried to keep those two worlds separate. I got bused to a different school due to being special ed so keeping the two separate was pretty easy for the most part. There were at times some bleed over, at times, I was in woodshop class and the style at the time was to have the velcro straps hanging off the back of my high tops and another student grabbed them causing me to fall. He ended up in the hospital for catching a claw hammer in the face. Between having to deal with the psychological counseling and the trial I decided to avoid this kind of petty crap in the future. I sent the message and it was heard loud and clear. I pretty much had the reputation of don't F with him, when he snaps he is dangerous. As I cleaned up my drinking and drug use I figured I would leave the violence as well. Not that I was not good at inflicting it on people but quite the opposite. I was too good at it and having fed the darkness within, the high was better than any drug. Fast forward some years and I am attending a local community college and while I am no longer running with the same violent crowd but I still see them every now and then. I am taking some classes with my friend's little sister and having seen her go from a bratty little girl to a woman kind of made it like she was another younger sister to me. She had started dating a guy who I knew from reputation to be a real piece of shit from high school. This guy was a year younger than me and the rumors floating around was the school did nothing about how he would grope females in the hallway because he was the star WR for the football team. He lost his scholarship to the state college due to his grades but the rumor was he had a few assault allegations that were swept under the rug. I inform her of what I know about the guy but she does not listen to me. After class, I approach the Poss to inform him that his girlfriend is someone I think of as a little sister and to tread lightly. She attended a school function with Poss and then she was missing from all of her classes for the next week so I drop off the notes at her parents' house. I found out Poss had roofied her drink, took advantage of her at the function, and left her there under the bleachers for people to be found. To make matters even worse he gave her a few STDs. The revenge on my part was I knew where he parked for classes every day. So I skipped class and waited for him to go return to his car to beat him down. Due to him driving an SUV I knew he kept a broom in there for cleaning off his car for snow. I had taken a pair of brass knuckles and I went to town on him. I grabbed the broom and carried him into the woods to stick that broom where the sun don't shine. I left him bent over a picnic table with the broom sticking out as a S like I just planted a flag. I stroll into the local pharmacy to pick up some hydrogen peroxide to clean off the blood and I go visit her older brother at the prison to give him a heads up. I tell him what happened, what I did and to keep an eye out for him on the inside. I must have a guardian angel as the list of people who wanted him dead for doing similar things was quite long. I got questioned about him but I gave them nothing and pointed them towards the people I suspected might have been victims of him in the past. The black hole revenge. I made a few inquiries into where this posse was going to be sent to once he got out of the hospital. Turns out he was going into one of the camps at the same prison the older brother was at. Even though it was a different unit it was still close enough in the sphere of influence that he could be gotten to. I was. Given a few names to make contact with and drop off some cash for the commissary to grease a few wheels to get at Poss. I figured that he would have been shanked and it would have been done with him. Turns out Poss was gang assault by 10 guys one of which infected him with HIV. They slit his rectum to make it wetter and to increase the possibility of infection. After doing all of the messaging I was approached by someone who played a cell phone video of the whole thing before I went into class. Turns out he died of sepsis a few weeks later. The orderly was pocketing the antibiotics and pain pills. He was double dipping as he was paid to do this and he sold off those pills as well. The only witness to my part of the revenge was now dead and all that was left was trying to rebuild little sis. I know I'm going to hell for this but I do not care. Maybe the nightmares I had for years after this will be penance enough but who knows.